huge this week. Just uh, talk about the way Nick Gonzalez and Eason came out today. Well, I mean, you know, Chuck's done a great job with those guys mentally, his patient. You know, Chuck's a real patient coach, and uh, I think it's it's worked for those two guys. And uh, Kyle Eason, he's done a great job with. So. Um, if we keep getting that kind of pitching, you know, we'll be a great team down the stretch. Yeah. And what about Gonzalez, the way he struggled in his last, well, did good as far as allowing run right. to walk six people and today right. no walks. I mean, well, I mean, that's the key with him. Yeah. I mean, if he throws strikes, he's going to be tough to beat. So, um, you know, great, a lot of positives on that pitching staff and a lot of positive offensively. We hit some balls hard. Uh, Peter Brotons had some great at bats. Fala had good at bats, but you know we're starting to hit with guys in scoring position, and that's what—that's how you win ball games. And with Junior doing as well as he is on both ends of the field, I mean, do you know have any idea what you're going to do with him? I mean, he's kind of kind of uh, hard to tell right now, right? Well, I mean, he's he's the kind of guy that could do all three. So, yeah. you know, we're going to keep using him in that eighth inning, seventh, eighth inning, and get it to Quackenbush, and uh, you know. With guys throwing the way they're throwing. As long uh, as he's know, striking out the side. That's, you know, all, that's all that matters. He's such a competitor. And, I mean, if really, if we let him pitch all the time, he'd be a, one of our top pitchers. So, yeah. But we need his bat right now, and uh, he's done a great job on both ends. All right, thanks, Coach.